A journey to one Africa. Camarade président Vladimir Poutine. Comrade President, Chef d'État. Your Excellency, Mr. President, Comrade Vladimir Putin. Bonjour. Your Excellency, Chairman of the African Union, Heads of the Delegation, thank you. Hello. It gives me great honor to address you here this morning and to convey to you the fraternal greeting of my people. At the outset, I'd like to thank the Almighty who allowed us to gather here today and to talk about the prosperity and the future of our peoples. I am sorry for offending you somehow. Mais nous n'avons pas de réponse. My generation Et c'est ici, nous pouvons laver dans notre main sale parce qu'on se sent en famille. But does not get se sent en famille en ce sens que la Russie est une famille aussi pour l'Afrique. Here, we feel at home. C'est une famille parce que nous avons la même histoire. Russia is also a family to Africa because we share history. Pour libérer le mondisme pendant la Seconde Guerre mondiale. Russia has sacrificed a lot to liberate Europe and the world from fascism during World War II. We have shared history. We can say that we are forgotten peoples of the world, be it movies, books, in many ways. The role of Russia and Africa in the fight against Nazism has been forgotten, but today we stand together and today we are here to talk about the future of our countries and what will happen tomorrow in this new free world to which we aspire for, where there will be no meddling in our domestic affairs. We have shared prospects and I hope that this summit will provide an opportunity to establish just peace and just world order and relations between our peoples. It's not quite clear to me how come that Africa that has so many resources, water, solar energy, how come that currently it is the poorest continent in the world? with the Voici highest the levels of famine, how come that we have to ask for help? We ask ourselves, but we don't get any answers. We have a chance to build a new relationship. Hopefully, this relationship will be for the better to us in order to build a better future for our country. On behalf of my generation, I would like to say that due to poverty, Many had to cross oceans in quest for a better life. At times they die, at times they starve, it's hard for them to survive. As for Burkina Faso, it's been eight years since we have been facing the most barbaric and violent form of uh, colonialism and barbarism. We are imposed this modern form of slavery. We were taught one thing. A slave that cannot rebel does not deserve pity. And we decided to fight, to fight against terrorists that impede our development and our struggle. Our peoples decided to take up arms in order to fight terrorism. We are surprised that imperialists are called militarized units. Nos grands-pères ont été déportés pour sauver l'Europe. 
in Europe, people take arms in order to defend their motherland. They are called that they are said, they say that they are not patriots, but when my grandfather had to take up arms, it was against his will. When people decide to take up arms, there's another problem. The problem is that the heads of African states do not give anything to these people who fight against imperialism. They are calling us armed units, bandits. We do not agree with such an approach. Leaders of African states should not be puppets when imperialists treat them like that. I would like to convey a message to the heads of African states qui ne connaissent pas la guerre, l'autosuffisance alimentaire de nos peuples. Nous devons prendre l'expérience de ceux qui ont pu déjà atteindre cela en Afrique, tisser de bonnes relations ici, et tisser de meilleures relations avec la Fédération de Russie pour pouvoir assouvir les besoins de nos populations. Je ne serai pas peut-être long de temps et un parti est très court. Nous sommes obligés de nous arrêter à un moment donné. Mais je voudrais terminer en disant que Nous devons donc rendre hommage à nos peuples, Since à nos peuples qui se battent. Pour ma intervention, laissez-moi payer tribute à nos peuples, à la patrie ou la mort. Nous vaincrons. Merci, camarades. 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 Вот, только что выступивший коллега сказал о роли России в борьбе с нацизмом. Она кем-то пытается быть затушована, забывается. Но эта борьба велась Советским Союзом, России в интересах всего человечества. Для освобождения человечества от нацизма. Я хочу обратить внимание, что и борьба Африки за свою независимость, for its independence and against apartheid has been going on not for the interest and for the benefit of the Africa per se, but also for the benefit of the humankind, because it leads to such results that improve the quality of relations in the world. Hence, it improves the situation in the world at large. And in this sense, I agree with Mr. Traoré. It resembles pretty much what was happening with the Soviet Union, what has been happening with Russia in its struggle, and what is happening with Africa in their quest for genuine independence.